everybody and welcome back with CAC. In today's video we're going to be looking once again at Japan Hall. Uh, no particular theme for this one, just a random selection of goodies, so let's just dive into my bag and see what we have. We have got um, nacho Pringles, potato sticks, ramen candy, uh, fits, tohato hoops, and tough gummies. Okay, so we have uh, quite a selection today. Let's start off with a more familiar one, and that's going to be the Pringles, uh, which by the looks of it is uh, nacho cheese flavour. Um, not something too unusual, you know, um, Pringles are something you get pretty much everywhere. Although I don't know about nacho cheese. I know there are Pringles nachos, but let's see. Obviously, Pringles. They are a bit smaller than regular ones because they're the hot size ones, but Yep. Fairly standard. Pringles, nacho cheese flavour. Um there already are sort of like Pringles tortillas, which are the similar sort of flavour, but with a different texture. So uh, nothing particularly new about that one, but you can't really go wrong with Pringles. <laughs> so while I'm here, may as well get started on the Tohato rings. Uh, these, I believe, are just plain old salt flavour. So let's just pop them open. Oh gosh. I don't know what it is about this packaging that's always so hard to open, but... <sighs> okay. We've got little tiny hoops. Very cute. Yep, just bite-size uh, little, little salt potato hoops. They're basically um, mini hula hoops. Which are always... Um, nice to have. So yeah, the first ones to start off with, nothing particularly special or different or spectacular about them, but nice little snacks. That's that done with. <laughs> okay, moving on, uh, something still somewhat familiar, but a bit different, the potato pretzel sticks. These look to be um, maybe bacon and onion soup or something like that, bacon and onion flavour. Uh, but these are poriki, which sounds similar to pocky, same sort of principle. Let's open these up and take a look. They come in a little tray there, you can see they are seasoned. Ooh, they smell cheesy. Very nice and crunchy, the base themselves quite moorish, but the flavour is a bit um, lacking, let's put it that way. There's a little bit of seasoning, like a little bit of pepperiness to it, but other than that, not much of a flavour, no, unfortunately. But the um, the texture and the crunch is really nice. Mm. So yeah, I really like those. But um, outside of that, there's just no um, flavour to them really, which is a little bit disappointing. But um, never mind. So yeah. Oriki. Uh, nice little snacks maybe as like a little extra, but um, not something that I'd personally go out and buy, you know, just by itself, because there are tastier things, let's put it that way. So uh, that's my assessment on that one. <laughs> okay, moving on, up next is uh, Fitz. Um, now I know of Fitz, um, it has a pretty distinguishable uh, jingle, uh, you know, the song that goes with the advert, but from what I'm aware, they're usually um, chewing gum, uh, so not actual sweets. But these, according to the um, invoice, are gummies. 
uh, which could mean gum, but um, I am taken to understand it means that they are actual proper sweets and not just chewing gum. But uh, we will have to see. Uh, peach flavour, as you can see on the bottom there. I can actually get into them very badly. So yeah, another resealable bag. Always good. Ooh, hello. Comes with a little pack of something. I don't know what that is. I'll take a look then in a moment, but... Ooh, very strong uh, peachy flavour. There's only a few in there. You know, gone to, gone to the, um, the good old trend of having like a half empty bag. But I suppose that's just the way things are nowadays. Let's pop one out. They look squishy. So, I don't know, are they chewing gum or are they gummies? Let's see. I believe they are chewing gum. chewing gum but um very juicy chewing gum I have to say so mm. and the peach flavour is very strong a little bit sour well not not quite sour but there's a little sort of aftertaste to it which isn't quite as sweet but still quite nice but um So it's um, nice as a chewing gum. I don't know if you can bubble them. No. No, just plain old chewing gum. But, um, yeah, very nice flavour. But I don't really do chewing gum all that often because, well, you can't eat. <laughs> well, I suppose you can, but you're not really supposed to. So, uh, no. But, yeah, nice and tasty. If you like chewing gum, um, maybe grab some. Next, I'm going to try the um, soda chewing candy, which I believe is from Chorus, by the look of the uh, kanji on the top there. I think it's kanji, it might be kanji I don't know. Um, but yeah, this looks to be a chewing candy with like a filling center or something in there. But, so let's take a look. Ooh. Yes, that, that fresh sherbetty smell as you open it up, and sort of like the little bonbons. You can already see there's like a little indentation in the middle, so there might be something in there. No, it's in fact quite quite the opposite. There is nothing in the middle. There's just a hole in the middle. But you know, the texture of them is very soft and almost clay-like, which sounds like a weird thing to say, but it is. It's just kind of kind of like a ball of clay, but edible. <laughs> very soft, very nice, very sweet. The um, soda flavour, while being quite popular in Japan, is a bit bland. You can only do, I, I, I can only stand so much lemon, personally, but overall they are nice, and I do just love chewy, gummy candy sweets, so um, yeah, I'm happy enough with that, but um, if there were like a great variation, then I'd be happier. <laughs> okay, and to finish up today, I'm going to go with the Kabaya Tough Gummy, um, which hopefully should be some of the uh, firm chewy candies that uh, I like. So, zip those open. Right, looking at it, you can see we've got uh, three flavours there. I don't know what the three flavours are. I'm going to assume cola orange and ramune, but again, I'm only assuming, but if we grab one of each. Ooh, okay, I open it up and immediately there's a combination of fruity smells there that's just, woo, 
quite overpowering that. So uh, let's give them a go. Let's start with the bluey greeny one and see what that is. Hmm. No, they're not. They're not like firm, hard chews. Instead, they're quite spongy. But spongy so much that it's hard to actually bite into them. They just kind of bounce on your teeth. But, hmm. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure what the flavor is that. I think it's lemon. I'm not sure. Um, <clears throat> the sugary coating is a little bit sour. Um, not warhead level sour, more like, um, well, just mild sour, kind of like Sour Patch Kids sour, not an overpower. Okay, so let's move on to the yellowy one and see what that is. Very difficult because the um, the sourness, while not overpowering, is enough to kind of cover up the actual flavour of the gummy itself to the point where it's hard to identify because all you can taste is just like the sour powder. So it's a little tricky, but I think that one's pineapple. Um, I may have to double check these later and maybe put up a little uh, subtitle on the bottom saying what they actually were. But. Uh, I'll do that when we get there. And this one, brown, is probably cola because that's normally what brown gummies are. So. Yes. Yeah, I got that one right at least, so that one is cola. But the other two, still a little bit up in the air. I'll, uh, I'll uh, look into that later. But very nice. Very chewy. And, um. <coughs> And a little bit sour as well. But yeah, overall, very good. Mm. Okay, and that is it for this uh, Japan haul selection. Um, got a little mix of savory and uh, sweet there. Again, it is easier to get hold of sweets. That's what's most put it, put it, put it there most often. Um, but yeah, of the savory ones we got, um, two of those were just um, different flavouring slash reimaginings of familiar stuff. And the uh, pretzel sticks, while nice, um, texture-wise, um, didn't have much of a flavour. Uh, I think I'll probably grab myself some uh, nacho dip later and put the nacho Pringles in the... You get what I'm saying. Um, it needs flavour to go with it. But other than that, overall, a nice uh, wide selection of things. I still have sourness in my mouth. It's right at the back of my throat. And that's why I keep swallowing. Um, <clears throat> But yes, that sums up everything here in this video. Uh, there will be more coming in future. I have um, saved up more of the um, Japan Hall reward points that I've talked about before. So I uh, will be cashing those in for uh, money off vouchers. If you haven't signed up to that already, then uh, go check out my uh, Japan Hall ordering video. I'll put a link down in the description as well, so that you can sign up and go through the process to get your own money off vouchers and, you know, free stuff, because uh, why why wouldn't you take money off if you had the opportunity to do so? It's, uh, it's common sense. So, thank you for joining me today. Uh, thank you for watching me. If there's anything else you'd like to see in the future, um, like, comment, subscribe, all that business, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.